Hey everybody, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again and today is day number 336 of quitting alcohol. Today I wanted to talk about discipline. Um, you know, I've asked myself a lot if lack of discipline is what caused me to have quote alcohol use disorder or to be a alcoholic heavy drinker, whatever you want to call it, be be you know addicted to alcohol and um, I think there is an element of lack of discipline that leads us to that. Is it the only thing? No, I mean alcohol is an addictive substance and um, you know you can um, become addicted to it uh, through multiple use of it and so I mean it is a drug. But you know, there's plenty of people out there that uh, do drink on occasion or just never um, get to a place where the alcohol, you know, kind of takes over their lives. And is that discipline that they have that allows them to um, drink in occasion or in moderation or whatever? I never could moderate my drinking. You know, it was like all or nothing with me. And uh, maybe that is a lack of discipline. I mean, that's part of it. And there is a correlation, I think, between um, lack of discipline and um, you know alcohol use disorder. Is it uh, primarily that or all that? No, there's so many different factors involved in it, but it's something worth talking about because I've noticed since I quit drinking alcohol, uh, I have way more discipline. So in some ways, the alcohol was keeping me back from being a disciplined person. You know, and if you're undisciplined with one thing in your life, um, substantially, it kind of overflows onto other things in your life as well. And so uh, I think you're going to find yourself in this journey that the further you go, the more disciplined um, you start to become. And that is as long as you, um, you know, don't change one addiction for another and you kind of are just aware and mindful as you get into this journey. And that's super key and critical once you quit drinking alcohol is just being aware of yourself and what you're doing and your actions and you know uh, I mean you're very fragile you know when you quit drinking alcohol for quite a while and um, you just kind of need to almost like watch yourself from a third person perspective and protect yourself look at yourself as kind of like you know a child that's going through something for the first time and you're trying to help this child along and learning and growing and getting through a difficult time, you know. And uh, I mean, that sounds kind of cheesy maybe, but you know, it's kind of that way. You got to kind of protect yourself and look at yourself as kind of, uh, you know, in a kind of a weakened state when you first quit, quit drinking alcohol and kind of take care of yourself. And, um, you know, I think that, like I say though, um, as you go along, you get stronger and uh, you start to develop disciplines. And then I look back at my drinking and a lot of it was just uh, lack of discipline on my part. Um, I remember being addicted to food at one point in my life in my uh, early mid 20s. I was just going ham on eating stuff, man, just crazy, gaining weight, ballooning up. And um, I couldn't stop. I was just compelled to eat, you know. So then I go, you know, if I was addicted to food, I was kind of addicted to out. Maybe is it an addictive personality or is it just a lack of freaking discipline, a lack of, um, you know, uh, back then I just didn't want to ever not be comfortable. I, I kind of did what felt good and what I wanted to do and uh, to hell with the consequences or even thinking about consequences. Um, you know, I just kind of uh, threw caution to the wind and did what I wanted. And as I've gotten older and matured more, I mean, I've matured more in this last year since I quit drinking alcohol than probably, you know, the last 20 years. And um, it's all from putting the alcohol down, working on myself and seeing things about myself that I never would have saw if I was continuing to drink. And, you know, lack of discipline is definitely one of those things that uh, I see that I had. And again, is it the main reason I was, uh, you know, had an alcohol problem? Our problem with myself, as I say, um, you know, it's part of it. Is it all of it? No, there's so many factors. But uh, again, it's one worth mentioning. And I just want to let you guys know that, um, you know, there is a discipline element involved in this. And uh, it does require some discipline to move away from alcohol, uh, discipline your life, discipline your routines, uh, come up with a plan. 
And, um, you know, uh, discipline is a good thing. Having a structure, having a routine, um, committing to things that you don't feel like doing, but you know that they're good for you and, you know, doing them anyway. And uh, you're glad when you do. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's like, you know, you, you get these things in your life that you just dread doing or hate doing, but you know they're good for you. And you stick with them long enough and eventually they become a part of your life and you don't hate them anymore. You start to enjoy them because you see the result and you see how good you feel pushing through that discomfort. And um, there's another side to that discomfort and that's the joy that comes along with um, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, doing what's right, doing what you know is good for you and uh, you know, seeing your discipline grow and uh, you know your life just starts getting better as a result of it. And so, um, like I say, guys, I uh, just wanted to mention today that discipline is a factor of this. It's something to think about. And I think that um, you know you may find yourself if you're drinking right now, your life just kind of undisciplined. You're not disciplined with what you eat. Uh, maybe you've let yourself go um, physically. And you've just kind of, uh, you know, got to where I was a very undisciplined person. And I want to tell you guys that, you know, you can get that discipline back. It's right there waiting for you. Is it kind of uncomfortable? Yeah, it is. But uh, once you put the alcohol down and you're aware of it and you can start working on it, um, just give it time and be aware of it and it'll start getting better. And, uh, you know, those things in your life that you didn't have discipline with before, uh, I didn't have a disciplined workout routine. I didn't have a disciplined eating routine. I wasn't disciplined with my finances or, um, you know, my family life or so many different things when I was drinking. And now I am. And uh, why is that? Well, duh, I put the alcohol down, right? And then it just started falling into place. And so, um, you know, uh, give that one some thought, guys, the correlation between discipline and and uh, alcohol use disorder and how it plays a role somewhat. And then, you know, in many cases, it's that alcohol too that's keeping you back uh, from being even more disciplined. So um, put the alcohol down and get disciplined. Uh, that's it for today. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please give them a like, subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, Sauce ain't the boss, you are. You guys have a great day.